Hello, welcome back to Brandon Switch Life Noting. In this episode, I want to talk about how geometry nodes attributes have become more abstract and a little bit more dynamic. Slightly more confusing maybe at first, but let's take a look. I'm going to delete everything and I will be using a simple plane. Okay, and um, I will create the geometry nodes and we're going to look at the node tree and in the past we've been using attribute create attribute fill and things like that but now nowadays we only have like attribute capture and attribute statistic okay none of them seems to be able to create attributes inside geometry nodes okay now it's starting to get a little bit confusing but the attributes is actually here. So we can actually create some kind of container for values using this attribute. So let's create something. Okay, let's name this blah. And it will ask you what domain you want this to be. Vertex, edge, face. Usually for simplicity, we start with vertex. And for the data type, could be float, integer, vector, color, etc, etc. I will be just using a simple float for now and we're gonna create this right away if you look at the spreadsheet we can see there's a blah and the value is all zero 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 okay so how how do we work with this um, attribute okay attribute statistic seems to be okay we can grab geometry attributes value and then we can find the mean median sum this is for maybe more useful for dynamics uh, kind of attributes. For now, let's concentrate on this attribute capture. Okay. So at the moment, if we want to capture this attribute, there's really nothing going on here. So um, what's interesting, however, I found out we can use random value, right? We always like to use random value. We don't always need to name this random value, but in this case, we want to put this into the blah container so I will I will actually pipe this into group output okay this is when things getting a little bit surprising I will name this blah okay suddenly we fill we fill up this attribute blah okay we don't need to use attribute capture for this geometry nodes but yeah um, in this case we can adjust this value and we can actually if we use mesh subdivide for example we are adding more points we are actually subdividing this mesh right we can actually fill fill up this value on the fly Okay, so let's save this very quickly. So attribute. So when I, when I say the attributes becoming more abstract and dynamic, this is kind of what's going on. Let's name this uh, something else like uh, create attribute. Actually, this is more like fill attribute because we create the attributes over here. Blah. So now let's go back to geometry nodes and if we create another geometry node, this time we want to use attribute capture. Okay, we want to capture the attributes and the way we capture it, we pipe in this input and look, look what's going on here. There's this value that we can switch between a single value and uh, something like a vectorized value in this case we, we want to just uh, get the value from blah okay so in order to see something we we're gonna instance on points and for the instance we're gonna use icosphere and as for the result, we want to pipe the attribute value into the scale. 
Okay, now suddenly we have we have something that's a little bit more interesting. Okay. This is a blah. This is a value attribute that we, we called blah. It was empty before and then here we actually fill the attributes with random value and then in the second geometry nodes we instance a value into uh, the icosphere so we are driving the icosphere scale using this attribute capture okay like i said this might be slightly more uh, confusing at first but the cool thing about about this of course uh we can also maybe use something like a uh, sphere choke and inside sphere choke we can create attributes on the fly also so set mesh attribute this with sphere choke is almost like you are programming using python but you are using nodes okay so we if we grab our plane over here and we want to name this haha for example and yeah suddenly we have attributes name haha right so uh, let's see if we can see the value okay this is an another attributes being generated using sphere chalk this value and this is a dynamic value we can random you can use use random value plug this in let's make 100 value suddenly okay we have this haha and then this is actually kind of this is dynamics as well and we can use it here we can capture the that value so we plug in the geometry again and the value and we want to grab ha ha okay ha ha and we can pass this in and the attributes and this is the value from sphere chop okay so this is okay this is a probably still kind of slightly confusing but what i uh, like i said the attributes becoming more abstract in so you can't just quickly make attributes and fill it like before it, it was simpler before this one's slightly more complex but with the dynamic with dynamic value like this you can actually do something more interesting uh, in the future okay so let's see let me show you another example this time i think i'm using cylinder uh, i forgot if we uh, okay let's start again from scratch this time I will make something using sphere chalk and pass it into geometry nodes it's probably actually let's create a grid okay grid and we create a attributes let's call it SV scale and SV rot scale and rotations let's save this as sv at attribute we're gonna inspect this using spreadsheet so we already have these attributes that we just need to fill up using stretch of nodes so set mesh attributes we're gonna grab this mesh And again, we're gonna fill it up with a value first up for the rotations i will be grabbing this object i'll grab these objects and then 
I'm gonna create a noise vector noise the outputs gonna be vector and it's gonna go into the SV route and it's gonna be float vector okay now we have value okay cool so this is a dynamic attribute we're gonna do the same we're gonna grab the original positions and we're gonna create a scalar value and we're gonna plug this into SV scale this is gonna be float okay so dynamic value has been created and this is this could be like particles that's with, with, with a changing position and changing color so it's a dynamic things so it could be like for the beginning of particle simulations of some sort but for now it's just the basic stuff geometry nodes and the thing we always like is to use instance on points. This time we want to use cylinder. So cylinder now being instance. Okay, cool. Instance cylinder. Now we want to grab the attributes. Now grabbing the attribute is the, the one that's kind of funky now. So we're going to grab this this uh, value we need to grab from outside and we're gonna specify this is gonna be SV scale so pass in the geometry and the scale there you go the scale is now being driven by noise from sphere chop okay cool how about the other so cylinder is the instance okay we can collapse that we can capture another value I wonder if we can just use this but maybe we can just use that and then this value second value we just gonna capture SV rot SV rot and then we can pass this into the rotations okay it doesn't work like that so apparently we need to pipe this geometry thing Okay, now it's working as plan. Yeah, like I said, the whole thing slightly more confusing, but it's gonna be more dynamic and the way all these noodles working, the way we capture attributes and value have changed in the latest version, but it's uh, it's open, opening up a lot of, it's unlocking a lot of potentials you know like uh, so here like even like uh, okay we have an attributes right attributes have a name and the way what we are doing here when we are we have group input and group output we are really capturing scale for example we, we can name it this way capturing rotations from sphere chalk right and then so we capture the attributes and then we pass it in so the one with dot 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 is probably not as important it's just like a passing value dynamics value the rest the, the one with solid lines is the it's something that's more uh, important okay now we can use vector in we can use frame info okay now we have an animations so I found like okay this uh, this is probably not always not the easiest to understand but I think for now you know because this is still blender 3.0 alpha anyway maybe there will be like an easier way to deal with this 
this kind of thing so we have remember we have attributes but the attributes is 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 nothing like uh vertex group vertex group is something else it's a weight between zero and one for the value attributes can be more dynamic and more abstract all right so hopefully you find this useful uh slightly more confusing than before where we just create attribute field attribute randomness attributes but now things becoming a little bit more advanced um, i will provide all the blends in at github hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you